Hello and welcome to vlog number 101. This week I'm going to talk about the availability of medicine and also a little bit about a fantastic new documentary that I've been involved with. I arrived home from my holiday to find a letter from a neurologist at the Norfolk and Norwich Hospital on the doormat. It was regarding my request for exenatide, a type 2 diabetes drug that has been shown in a recent clinical trial to halt the progression of Parkinson's disease. My neurologist had promised to support my request to be prescribed this drug, although he felt that the Drugs and Medical Committee would refuse the request due to insufficient evidence of benefit. The letter was to let me know that, as predicted, the committee had rejected my request to fund exenatide. I had said at my recent appointment with my neurologist that I would be prepared to pay for the drug myself, although I really don't see why I should do so. I found out that the monthly cost of exenatide is comparable with standard PD medications such as levodopa and dopamine agonists, none of which I take because they don't work for me and make me feel extremely unwell, but which my neurologist and my doctor would happily prescribe for me with no questions asked. Perhaps, failing all else, this is the path that I should take. I know that I do have the support of both my doctor and my neurologist because I've asked them both. If it was you that had Parkinson's, wouldn't you want to try a drug that just might halt disease progression? To which they both replied, of course. My doctor said to me, I'd like to help you, but my hands are tied. And my neurologist said in his letter, I am really sorry about this decision, but I have no other option than to respect it. I'm so disappointed, but I haven't given up yet. I've made an appointment to see my Member of Parliament, Norman Lamb, on the 31st of November and will seek his advice on the matter. He was a Minister in the Department of Health when he was in Government, so he knows how things work. I also want to talk to him about the other medicine that I'd like prescribed for me. Cannabis. Although it was rescheduled on the 1st of November to enable it to be prescribed, the prescribing guidelines issued to clinical specialists are so restrictive that the reality is that nobody will actually qualify for medicinal cannabis. I already approached my neurologist about wanting medicinal cannabis on prescription and he has agreed to support this, albeit slightly reluctantly. I fully expect it to be refused by the Drugs and Medical Committee on the grounds of insufficient proof of benefit and this is simply not good enough. I know that Norman Lamb is a keen supporter of medicinal cannabis and supports my application, so I want to pick his brains, ask him what he considers to be the best way forward. In the meantime, Jersey has announced that medicinal cannabis can now be prescribed with far fewer restrictions than in the UK, which shames our government, although it remains to be seen how many people will actually receive it. I'll be keeping a watchful eye on things over there. I have been involved in the production of a documentary about cannabis called The God Plant and I recently received an email from the production company to say that it is now available on Amazon and that they are currently in negotiation with Netflix. It's a comprehensive documentary that charts the history of cannabis, discusses the endocannabinoid system and looks at the progress being made in America and the UK with regard to the legalisation of cannabis for both medicinal and recreational use. I've watched this several times now and can thoroughly recommend it, although of course I might just be a little biased. If you'd like a little more information just pop along to www.thegodplant.com and view the trailer. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.